Yay! Oh my god, this is a game that I played the shit out of when I was a kid. And I never beat it. <laughs> I don't think I ever beat it. Uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. It was... Oh, sh there we go. <laughs> Glass Joe. Fuck, if I lose against this guy, I'm just gonna go and walk in front of a bus or something. Alright. So I'd say this game was probably really popular on account of, like, not just Mike Tyson being a part of it, but also the graphics are pretty significant in the fact that the, you didn't really see it at the time, but the sprites are massive. I mean, it's because they they took a bunch of regular sprites and then they just like tiled them together in order to make uh, like Glass Joe here. And you didn't really see that kind of thing on the NES because like trying to tie all these separate sprites together, like it could be done, but you had to be careful about how much movement you had them do because like keeping them all moving together. And the NES didn't have the ability to display a whole lot of sprites on one scan line. Ah. Oh, okay, I lost my, uh... Somehow I lost my... Special. For some reason, the pause, there's there's a software pause in the emulator, and there's also, the start button is also linked to performing a special, so it's going to pause every time I try to perform a special. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got out of round one. So anyway, th this game had a special um, a look to it, something that you didn't really see in other NES games. There was a Super Punch Out for the SNES, and I did play that, but it like it doesn't resonate with me as much as this original one does, even though it's technically a better game. This was a fairly late NES game too, I think. I ended up picking this up. I'd played it before, but I ended up not uh, actually getting the game until, like, at pretty much, I was pretty much already um, done with the NES. I'd gotten an SNES, and even though I'd, I'd played this game a number of years earlier, I mean, I can't really tell how much, because, you know, like, your perception of time as a child is a little fucked up. The way he fell. Um, your perception of time as a kid is a little bit fucked up, so it may have been like a year or two, but it felt like forever. But I know I'd already had an SNES, and this was the last game, other than perhaps Mega Man 6, that I picked up before finally like leaving the NES behind completely. Jeez, no weight classes here, is there, are there? So even though I was an SNES kid by the point that I got this, I went back and I played it anyway, and I played it quite a bit. Of course, the NES was not that um, robust of a system. So the machine, like, the lockout chip nonsense that the NES had, you had to deal with, <laughs> eventually made the machine, like, practically not friggin' work anymore. <laughs> I'm using a dual sense to play this, and it's not working out that great. Something about the the D-pad isn't uh, 
Like, Little Mac is dodging when he should be uppercutting. Oh, okay, so if you get hit, you'll lose your, you'll lose your star. I wonder why they give you the ability to, like, right or left, when it doesn't seem to have any effect on anything. <laughs> I'm only like three seconds from the end of the round. You have to consider me having won that round. <laughs> You will fall down! <laughs> such... Such amazing trash talk. <laughs> you know, it's possible that we're not looking at... Like, tiled sprites. We might be looking at, um... Background layers. Background... Background, uh, items being used for the... Character sprites. Which is why the... The animation is so... Uh, the so little animation. You fucker. There you go. I remember when we got to a new fighter, when we were playing this as kids, we always said that we wanted to see what the bottom of their feet looked like. The bottom of their shoes. And that's so stupid, because they all look the same. <laughs> Idle bout! Piston Honda, alright. <laughs> 174 pounds against 107 pounds. There are no way classes. <laughs> oh my god, look at the size of that fucker. <laughs> now, every one of these guys had their own, like, pattern. It was more or less like a puzzle game, trying to figure out what you had to do for each fight. Shit. Should I... Dodge or block when he when he charges in like that. See, look, the bottom of his feet. It's just that. This is that mesh pattern. <laughs> Although his feet are bigger when he's on the ground than he's when he's standing. Fuck. So, I could dodge. I'm gonna take chip damage if I... <laughs> round one ends. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't have much health left. Seems like you gotta counterpunch this guy. <laughs> the noises that he makes when he gets up. <laughs> ah, fuck. You got me. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's right. You're supposed to... You're supposed to wait a few seconds before you get up, because the longer you wait, the more health you recover. I remember that now. Don't get up, you fucker. Ugh. Gotta be a TKO, right? Yeah. Wasn't really keeping track. Three knockdowns and you get a TKO. Three knockdowns in one round and you get a TKO. We have a new champion! Oh shit, that's right. <laughs> shouldn't, um, shouldn't you be riding behind him so you can keep an eye on him? I guess he's supposed to be, like, a mech kind of character. <laughs> oh, I'm not writing any of that shit down. Don Flamenco. At least he's not as big as the last guy. Oh, fuck a Spaniard. He's got a rose in his mouth. <laughs> um. Okay. So he does his little thing. You punch him, he counter punches, and then you counter him. What the fuck? <laughs> My dodging wasn't working. So yeah. So you wait for him to you, you punch him, he counter punches, and then you can smack him around. I just ran out of stamina, and I couldn't pull it off. Just a falling sound effect happens over and over again. <laughs> ah, you got me. This fucker hits hard. I must have won that round. I had two knockdowns. <laughs> I like your hair. <laughs> He's wearing a hat. <laughs> they did another release of this game after a few years. Because, you know, they did that kind of thing back then. They would... I mean, it's not... It sounds a little wi weird now because of digital distribution. Games can essentially stay on the market indefinitely. But back during the, like, PlayStation era and beyond... Games only had uh, so long on the market before they sort of faded off the market because you would have, like, something would get its initial push on the market and then it would fall off and it would stop being manufactured. And then it might go, like, in a greatest hits release or something like that. But the NES and the SNES... Those games had a long tail to them. Like, they'd stay in production for a long period of time because Nintendo would slowly trickle them out into the market. So they'd produce, like, 10,000 copies 
and they wait for them to sell and then they produce another 10,000 or whatever the number is and they wait for them to sell so it might be years that a game stayed on the market just slowly fulfilling the demand for it this game was on the market for so long that their license with Mike Tyson eventually expired so they had to replace Mike Tyson with a character called I think he was called Mr. Dream I never played that version of the game but I hear it's identical but I had heard that, like a rumor, that it... Uh, what was this guy? Hippo? Angry, angry, hungry, hungry hippo or something? Oh, okay, I remember this guy. You can't... You can't hit him. He'll tire himself out. Oh, okay. He'll he'll knock his pants down, and that's when you punch him in the gut and he'll fall over. Okay. Okay, I haven't quite figured him out yet. Okay, he won that round because he got a knockdown. <laughs> oh, good, he's a fat guy. That's the joke. Uh, there's something about his pants falling down that you punch him in the gut. Maybe you punch him when he opens his mouth. Baki hits hard. Fuck! I push. I, okay, I swear, I pushed the up button, which should have given me an uppercut, but he dodged. <laughs> That's what it is. All right, I just lost. I figured it out just entirely too late, but I, I'm telling you, <laughs> there's something wrong with either the controller or the emulator or something, because you just push up and the attack button to throw an uppercut. You push left or right to dodge to the left or the right. I pushed up and he dodged. <laughs> I should have gotten my attack in there. Oh shit, okay, 18 and a half minutes. <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs>